What's up YouTube? This is a video on how to get virtual memory on your iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever it is you're using. Um, this doesn't work on the 4S or any other A5 devices. It's only the older devices that this works on. It will work on iOS 5.1.1. That's actually what I'm running right now. I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, version 5.1.1 right there so let's see okay so now we go on the iFile I'm gonna navigate all the way back to the little slash mark um, go to system library launch daemons edit add you're going to create the file com dot apple dot dynamic underscore pager dot plist. Then you're going to go and change the type to regular file. You're going to do the owner root and group. You're going to change to wheel if I can ever get to it wheel and then the leave the rest of it how it is and go ahead and hit create I'm gonna press cancel because I already have that file in here and once you've created it go ahead and scroll down and you're gonna see it right there see mine is 397 bytes um, yours is gonna be zero bytes because you're gonna make it it's gonna be empty so this is what we're going to put in it. Open it up in text viewer. You're going to get a, a error message here. Just press OK and you're, it's all going to be blank. Then what you're going to do is go to the website that's in the description. Um, they have step-by-step -step directions on that site. So if you're already tired of my video and you want to just go to that, uh, go ahead. But um, if not, what you're going to do is go to that site, copy and paste um, what's on that, what they have on there for this folder copy and paste it onto an email email it to your device and then copy and paste it from the email into this folder and to actually put it in there you're gonna hit edit and just tap on it and you know the paste thing will pop up and then click save and then click done and now once you have that created with the stuff pasted in there back on up and go to private var and preferences now same thing edit and add you're gonna add com dot apple dot virtual memory capital M on memory dot p list set it up the same way as the other file as a regular file um, root and wheel and leave everything else and just create that file and once you have it created, same thing, it'll be zero bytes, it's going to be empty, text viewer, go to the website, find the content for this file, copy and paste it onto an email, send it to your foot, same thing. Paste, save, done. Once you're done, go ahead and reboot your device. Um, after you've rebooted your device, you can go back into iFile and go to var slash vm. You're going to see, to know if this has even worked, you'll see right here, you'll see swap file 0, 64 me megabytes. The other two are just swap files that the virtual memory has created for my phone throughout the day. Um, but they will go away once I reboot my phone. It will clear out any all the extra ones that it made, and it will just stay at that swap file 0. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's how you add virtual memory to your iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever it is. You're using, um, if you want to instantly activate it, go to processes and uh, clear out the mail and phone, hit free up memory. And it's gonna that's going to cause your phone to freeze up for a little while, though. So be prepared for that. You might think, oh, what did I do? Did I mess it up? No, it's just going to freeze and not respond for close to a minute. I don't really like doing this method. Instead, I just rather let it kick in on its own um, because when you don't need it it's basically just gonna stay there idle and not really do anything but once you start backgrounding a lot of apps it'll go ahead and kick in and 
you you'll almost never see your RAM go below 150, which is pretty cool. I've had 16 to 20 apps open, and I was still at 150. I never really seen it drop below 150. So yeah, this is just a pretty cool little thing. I thought a uh, nice little added way to add some RAM to your device. Um, now people say this is dangerous, and yes. It it can over time it can shorten the lifespan of your phone and all that stuff, but I know me personally I plan on upgrading to the next iPhone when it comes out. Um, I know most people do upgrade every time a new iPhone comes out, but on on aside from that, me I haven't noticed any differences on it. I've had it on my phone for the past few months. I haven't noticed a, a single change other than an increase in performance. And, but I'm not going to processes and constantly freeing up my memory. Doing that, maybe that could cause your device to, to die quicker just because you're making it kick in more, more frequently instead of just letting it kick in when it needs to. That's why I just kind of let it sit there and when I'm running a bunch of apps, it does its job. You can see right now I'm at 312 megabytes. Typically when, on a fresh reboot, I'll have about 270 so I mean even right now I've got extra RAM so yeah hope you guys like the video rate comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll catch you guys in the next one also I am still really new to YouTube so any videos you guys would like to see just let me know um, I'd love to get some some requests for videos and I'll work on those and get them out as quick as possible so hit me up see you guys later